WordPress, Google Vault, and more specifically the retention rules that you want to set up right as you get the account so that you know that you're uh, archiving all the emails that you want to be archiving. So let's hop into Vault and take a look. First thing I'm going to do, I'm in the admin console right now, but you can get to it um, from the Google Apps Waffle at the top right. I'm just going to scroll down and if you have access to Vault, it'll be here in your applications. So I'm going to select Vault. It's going to take me to the Vault homepage. So this is the Vault homepage and we're going to look at retention. So you have retention, matters, and reports. Retention is used as a coverall. It'll tell you what all is being archived. So you want to set that up first thing. Matters are going to be used when legal needs specific emails from certain users going back and forth uh, containing attachments or uh, any data that they're asking for. And then reports. Reports are going to be used for um, auditing within Vault to see who's pulling what sort of data, who's running what queries, who has access to what things. So reports as internal matters are going to be for your legal team or whoever needs that data. And retention is basically your blanket coverall um, for what is being archived. So here we are in the retention and I'm going to set up default retention rules. So all I need to do is click on each application and I'm going to set default retention rule for mail. And I can choose indefinitely. For this, I'm going to say 10 years. And then I'm going to expunge just the message that the users have already deleted. So that's going to say uh, if the user has not deleted it, it's still in their inbox, we're not going to delete that for them. They might still want it. And hit save. This is going to say legal holds, take precedence over default retention rules. I agree with that. Um, after expiration, this rule will expunge just the messages that have already been deleted. Yes, that's what I want. I'm going to hit confirm. And now it says, okay, look, we're going to keep the messages for 10 years um, from when they were sent. After expiration, expunge just the messages that have already been deleted. That's perfect. That's what we want for this rule. Now we're going to go into Drive, and we're going to say, all right, keep everything indefinitely. That's easier to set up. It's just going to keep all of our files for us indefinitely. Um, I'm going to do the same for groups. And let's just put all of our other applications at indefinitely. So you wouldn't necessarily want to keep everything indefinitely. Um, you wouldn't necessarily want to get rid of mail after 10 years. Each entity, each organization is going to be different, so you're going to want to figure out uh, what your organization requires and legally what you're required to do. Um, this is just an example showing you some of the things that can be done. Uh, you're also not going to want everyone to be on the same default rules. So our executives, we want to keep that mail indefinitely. So how do we do that? We come to the top left and we say, hey, let's create a rule. I'm going to choose it for our mail, and I'm going to choose the organizational unit of executive. I'm not going to set a set date because I want it to catch everything. And, you know, we don't need to start at the start of the year. We need to start as soon as these guys are sending email in and out. I'm not going to set any terms because I want to keep everything. And I'm just going to say indefinitely. We're going to save that. So now anyone in the executive organizational unit will be kept indefinitely, as opposed to if they're not in the executive organizational unit, they're kept for 10 years. Let's create another rule here at the top left. Let's do it for mail as well. And let's say for the legal team, starting at the beginning of this year, and I'm not going to you know, cap it. I'm going to say anything that has an attachment. How long do we want to keep that message? We want to keep it for 365 days, and then I'm going to expunge just the message that users have already deleted. I'm going to say I understand both of those. All right, now look at this. Anyone in our legal organization who sends mail after the beginning of this year, this calendar year, that has an attachment that's only going to be kept for 365 days. So, you know, nine years shorter than our default retention rule. But if they're in the legal organization and it doesn't have an attachment, 
that'll be kept for 10 years. Um, so again, that's not necessarily something that you want to set up that way. I'm just showing you some of the capabilities that our retention rules uh, can have. In our next video, we're going to go over how we can do more robust rules and get more granular with the things that we want to search for. Uh, we're also going to cover matters at that same time. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.